You have to. Chicago admit. sports legend has called it quits before his time. Last October it was Michael Jordan. Today it's Cubs second baseman Ryan Sandberg. We'll head out live to Wrigley Field shortly to hear Sandberg's press conference and get reaction from CLTV's Peggy Kaczynski, who's also on hand. Now, there's little doubt that Sandberg will be inducted into the Hall of Fame with these career numbers. In his 12-plus years with the Cubs in the big leagues, Sandberg has compiled a 289 career batting average. He's banged out 2,133 hits, 245 home runs, 905 RBI, 325 stolen bases, and just 105 errors committed. Rhino is a 10-time All-Star, including a 9-time starter. He's also a 9-time Gold Glove winner and has led the league in fielding percentage four times. Sandberg, who some say is the best second baseman of all time, actually won four single seasons without a throwing error. That's incredible. He also led the Cubs to division titles in 84, the same year he was the NL's MVP, and in 89 as well. So Ryan Sandberg, obviously a, an awful day for Cubs fans. If, uh, if you are a Cubs fan, as Sandberg's career ends, uh, we will be finding that out shortly. We're going to be heading out to Wrigley Field momentarily as Ryan Sandberg is expected to head to the podium and give us the true reasons why he has decided to retire. Let's take a time out here on the show, but when we come back, we'll also open up the phone lines on Sports Page at 708-575-8255, and then we will head out to Wrigley Field for Ryan Sandberg's press conference. Don't go away now. Wednesday, check out CLTV because Major League Baseball is throwing you a curve. Baseball's broadcast rules keep you from seeing Wednesday night's Cubs Padres game on WGN, but you can see it on CLTV. Since CLTV is a local cable channel, it's a whole different ball game. Catch the Cubs against San Diego with Harry Carey and Steve Stone on the play by play. Wednesday night at 9 30 on CLTV. I called Miracle Ear because Roger was missing out on life. I called Miracle Ear because I wanted to hear better. Talk about dreams. Listening and understanding is a whole lot easier now. I'm glad I called Miracle Ear. Talk about a miracle. If I misunderstand, I miss the sale. My Miracle Ear Micro Elite works great, and it's tiny as a fingertip. We look the whole house over and the best one. You are reaching for a star, living every moment, sure of who you are. Call now for a free booklet that shows how Miracle Ear may be able to help you. Living every moment, sure of who you are. The call is free. The booklet is free. Even the hearing test is free. Sometimes little things can make the difference. Talk about living. Talk about a miracle. Talk about a miracle. Every day, folks from across the country come to Miracle Ear with questions about hearing loss and hearing aids. Now you can get straight answers to some of the most common questions in this free booklet, Straight Talk About Hearing Loss. And that's exactly what you'll get. Call now and discover for yourself the answers to questions like these. I have trouble hearing on the phone. Does that mean I have nerve deafness? What makes Miracle Ear so different from the other brands I see advertised? My husband just won't admit his hearing is getting worse. What can I do to help? How do I know if one of those little miracle ear hearing aids can help me? Get the answers to these questions and many more by calling for your free booklet, Straight Talk About Hearing Loss. Both the call and the information are free. By calling this number now, Miracle Ear will also send you a list of hearing centers near you. Call now. My salary. Welcome back to Sports Page. Let's head out to Wrigley Field where Ryan Sandberg is at the podium. Therefore, I am here today to announce my retirement effective immediately. I wish the very best to the Chicago Cubs organization, Mr. Cook, Larry Himes, Tom Treblehorn, the coaching staff, and my teammates and friends. 
most of all, I thank the great Cubs fans for their support and affection they have shown me since I arrived in Chicago. I will always feel a part of, part of the Chicago Cubs, and I will miss you. Um, ever since I made up my mind that this was going to be my last year, which was sometime uh, during, before spring training, um, it seemed like some of the things that uh, helped me become the player and, and be the player that, that I am and was uh, kind of left me. Um, the edge that it takes uh, to play, the drive, the motivation, um, the killer instinct, all these things that I have had uh, since coming up through the minor leagues, which is a total of 17 years, all these feelings that I've had and it's been a part of me on the baseball field, um, I felt like I didn't have. Um, it ended up taking me just about two and a half months to realize that, thinking that uh, maybe one day it would come back, but it really never did. And You know, I, I'm very proud. The 13 years that I spent here, I feel like I've given all of me to the Chicago Cubs, not only during the baseball season, but all year round. And this is a special day for me. It's as special as opening day of 1982. Um, you know, I feel that uh, with the feelings that I, that I did not have, I thought that I, I feel like that's what it, that's what I need to go out on the field each day to give my very best and live up to the standards that I have set for myself and I'm not willing and uh, do not want to just hang around I want to want to want to be the best player that I can be and uh, you know with all these feelings and emotions not being there I have found uh, that I am not able to do that Brian, uh, where did it come up well, it's just been gradual uh, since uh, spring training, the start of the season. Uh, I still feel that the dedication was there, the hard work. But uh, in the back of my mind, I knew that uh, this was going to be my last year. And with that in mind, and, and, and always on my mind, which uh, I feel became a burden on me, uh, I just didn't have uh, the drive and the edge that uh, I have always had uh, since I've been here. Ryan, why did you decide it would be your last year? What made you decide prior to well, the season that it was um, A lot of different reasons. Uh, family is very, very important to me and always has been. I have two kids that uh, will be starting college in five and seven years. And I thought it was time for me to be with them uh, as I could enjoy them and uh, be more a part of their lives. And, uh, you know, it's been, uh, it's been, it would have been 13 full years, 17 full years in professional baseball and I felt like that was enough. Ryan, do you suspect Ryan, when did you the situation were a little different now the Cubs were winning if you were getting two seventy or two eighty the decision would have been held off. You might have waited for that number of the ball. Well that's 
Well, I've been through losing streaks. I've been through uh, slumps, and uh, I've been through slumps every year, and I know how to come out of slumps. So that part of it, uh, you know, I don't think that it's, I don't think that that's a major part of it. Um, I feel like, like I would need to have that drive and the motivation and the edge that I've had and the aggressiveness that I've had, um, you know, to to uh, break out of a slump like like I'm in. No, it, not at all. Uh, since I've been here, I felt like uh, the Cubs organization has always tried to win. Uh, we put some good teams out on the field. Uh, we did win our divisions in 84 and 89. Definitely the, the bright spots of my career and a lot of memories for those two years. And we had a chance to win those two years and the years following those years. Uh, good ball clubs, good teams. Uh, I can only react and say that this this is due to uh, what's going on right now with me today my feelings emotions I can't speculate on on anything else Ryan, is this, um, Ryan, is this an easy decision or was this from the standpoint of your relief or is this a very difficult period of time in your life right now professionally personally whatever uh, the last couple of days have been very difficult uh, waiting for today I think you know I think that I'll be relieved and and uh, we'll have a big burden off of my shoulders that I've had uh, since spring training and this is well before the season even started um, so after today uh, I think I'll be relieved uh, last year, I, I felt like I still had the edge and the drive. I uh, was not counting the years left that I wanted to play. This was way before uh, the spring training of this year when I made that decision. Uh, last year, uh, getting hurt in spring training. Uh, I was motivated to come back and do the best job that I could to help us win and uh, and to have a good year. That was last year, and um, that was my motivation and edge and drive that it took to work hard and uh, and put together a good year and help us win games. No, that was that was, that all happened uh, this spring. Okay. Ryan, you said earlier that uh, you feel that the Tribune Company. always tried to win. Trying to win and doing the right things to make you win are, of course, two different things. A lot of the players on your team, several of them, to be more accurate, feel that you have been dissatisfied with the organizational changes from the tribute power on down in the operation of the ball club, and that you didn't see any hope that a championship would be forthcoming soon enough. How big a factor was that in your deciding that this would be the year? Well, like I say, this was this was the year because of the personal reasons with my family and uh, and spending the years that I have in the game. Uh, you know, I've always thought of myself as a baseball player, and I've tried to stick to that. You know, I'm not I'm not anything besides a baseball player, and that's the way that I've looked at my job, and I think that that's helped me concentrate and play and perform the way that I have and um, you know I know that everybody wants to be a winner and everybody wants to win I know all the players the coaches manager the GM all the way up owners want to win here and uh, I know that and that's a fact can you share, can you share what you told uh, your I haven't talked to them yet. Pardon me? This has been set up since yesterday, and uh, I was given uh, the last two days off to uh, reflect and uh, 
think and arrange what's going on today. Uh, at this point, uh, this was the top thing on my list of things to do today. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I have nothing planned at, uh, at this moment. Uh, I imagine I'd keep all things open as far as uh, being in baseball, not being in baseball. Brian, what will, you, uh, what will you remember most and what will you regret most about your 12 years in Chicago? Uh, well, remember most... Uh, you know, I remember I was a player at one time that uh, just wanted to be on a major league roster. That was a goal of mine at one time. And I was told that I would never play in the major leagues. I was told that uh, I wasn't good enough, uh, didn't have the fire to play in the major leagues. I, I heard all these things uh, coming up. But um, just being able to be a major league ball player and work at it and have fun and enjoy it. Uh, the two winning seasons uh, that we did have here, those are all the memories that I'll think about. Can you try to work yourself out of this right now? I don't want you to spring training just more than usual with your share of running and all that. Well, that's why I say, like, I think I still feel like the dedication uh, was there this year that I've always had, uh, trying to work and uh, doing what I had to do extra to get it back. But, um, you know, I had, I had the feelings that it took to play in the major leagues uh, for 12 full years, and I know the difference. And uh, it took some time this year to realize that. I always thought that I'd wake up and maybe the next day I'd have it back, you know. But, um, you know, the drive and the edge and all that uh, was not there. And, you know, this is definitely the best thing for me to do. Brian, if the edge ever came back, Brian, would you consider returning? If What's that? Edge ever returned? Pardon me? If the edge ever returned, would you consider coming back? Well, with the fact that this was going to be my last year anyway for my personal reasons and uh, for my life, I don't, uh, I don't imagine that happening at all. Uh, you know what? Not at all, because uh, I, still, I still had it going inside of me. I wanted to come back. I worked as, as hard as I ever did last year. I, I was working out when I had a cast, you know, getting my legs in shape, and, uh, and I think that enabled me to come back uh, quicker than maybe I might have been able to. And that's why I was able to go to, and play some, play three or four minor league games and then step right in and play. So I still had, I feel, what it took inside of me to, to play last year. Um, it was an injury that, um, you know, I got to go through and learn about, and uh, it was a learning experience for me. Right over there, 1984 Cardinals Saturday, you actually televised game for your top moment? Uh, it was definitely one of them, for sure. I think that was, that was a game that really, uh, really got me going, and, uh, changed me as a ball player. It gave me a lot of confidence. It showed me that I could do something special, uh, be a special player. And that got me going, and uh, it seems like I build, build it on that from that and, moment on. And as best as you can tell us now, I'm going to have uh, my advisor to answer that question. You said you had two days to reflect. When, when was it a certain point last week where you decided to speak? I'm going to make this the day. Was that last night or was it the two days you were reflecting? When did you decide, I think I'm going to retire right at this date today? It was actually uh, 
yesterday morning. No, I'm sorry. It was it was. Uh, I played Friday and had Saturday Sunday off. It was uh, Saturday morning. Timmy, I'd like to ask you if you tried to uh, talk to Randall out of this decision, or were we as reasonable as that in essence to transfer you and everybody involved in your family? It's not my decision to make. Um, Ryan is the one that goes out on the ball field, and if he's not comfortable with his performance, there's nothing I can do about it. Ryan, what's the emotion going to you were uh, almost regretful in knowing that you were taking jobs. So by the baseball, now you've seen a good relief. What's the most prevalent emotion right now that you know when you walk out of here that you're done with the baseball? Boy, we'll find out. Uh, <laughs> definitely very difficult today. It's been difficult uh, the last uh, two days reflecting on it and uh, thinking. No, that's not easy, and you know I know that uh, <coughs> relief is in sight for me. I, I can feel that, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. Ryan, why don't you take so much man? pride in the way you play all the time? How much is the emotional burden because of the contract, and you wanted to be able to earn what you're getting paid for? How much did that play into you feeling you, you weren't as confident? Well, as far as being at the top of my game, I mean, you're only talking about two months of the season. I think I've been at hitting similar stats I have now before in my career. Uh, but I just feel like um, I didn't have what it take to bounce back and to come back. Um, I've never really been a big person. Uh, as far as the contracts or the contract talks or, or uh, you know, I've always played the game for fun and for enjoyment. It's like a dream, the dream and to have a dream come true like that. That's the way that I've always looked at it. And the money has just uh, come along with it. And um, never really put any pressure on myself as far as having the contract. No, not at all. That's something I relax a little bit and uh, <laughs> basketball, football, and hockey are out of the question. I have no ambitions of doing those. You know, the Bulls, the Bears, the Blackhawks. How about soccer? Soccer? What do you miss most about the game about yourself and the camaraderie and the Well, I always enjoyed the competition. Uh, always enjoyed the butterflies before every single game for 17 years. Uh, going out and uh, giving the best, working hard, uh, sweating, all those things the hard work and uh, the dedication and then getting the rewards that, that comes with it. Did you, request, you, you mentioned that uh, last year, and I want to make sure I remember what you said correctly, that you weren't thinking of how many more years you had to play, that you really hadn't been thinking about at the end, but then this spring you did decide this would be the final year. What, what changed you in the interim during the offseason? You, you popped off at about spending more time with your kids and you retired. What made you move it to this, to this day, this year? Well, um, you know, this year I thought it was very difficult. Uh, you know, I had my mind made up, and then it was very difficult to leave the family again, leave spring training in Arizona, and to start the season. Um, you had your mind made up to keep playing, or to retire this year? That's when I had my mind made up that this would be my last year playing. I think as a as a player, I it just it just came to me. I, all the hard work, uh, the workouts in the off season, uh, and I wasn't getting any younger. Uh, the aches and the pains, things like that, start to add up. And I think as a player, it it just uh, just kind of came to me.
Well, the fans uh, have been outstanding towards me. There's no doubt about that. And uh, it's well known that uh, the best, best fans, I think, in, in all the sports are right here in Chicago. You know, you know, you talk about the Bulls, the Bears, the Blackhawks, Cubs, White Sox. I mean, it's pretty well known that uh, the following and uh, the support that the city gives their sports clubs and is outstanding. And uh, I think that was a, an, another thing that helped me play my games and helped me get up for the games on certain days when I wasn't feeling too well or had some aches and pains, sick, whatever it might be to go out there and before the game and you see a full house every day, uh, that really means something to a player and it meant something to me. And that helped me go out and give my best every day. <laughs> no, um, not at all. Ryan, you said in the mind that someone said you didn't have enough fire to make it to the major league. Every once in a while, people would complain and want you to show more fire. How much did that bother you that people wanted you to be more demonstrative? Well, I don't know uh, exactly what that means. If they want equipment thrown or or whatever, uh, you know, I had all the the fire and the feelings and emotions inside of me that I feel that it took to play the way that I played, and you know, I wanted to I wanted to beat the opposition as bad as anybody, and instead of showing frustrations, uh, you know, there were times where I showed frustrations, but. It was almost like what I would do was go back and sit on the bench and go out and uh, try and make a good defensive play or go up and try and get a big key hit or home run the next at bat. That's the way that I tried to handle that. Um, I have no idea. Not, not really in the near future. I think it was time to... Uh, shut down the travel a little bit. I've uh, spent some time with my kids, like I mentioned, my family. Uh, manager, I'd, I'd say no to manager. Ryan, is there anything to regret looking back on your career here in Chicago? I regret not getting to a World Series in 84 and 89. Brian, you're, you're sitting in the dugout yesterday knowing that you're going to be here today and you're in a major league uniform and you know that when you go into the clubhouse, you take that off for the last time. Can, can you reflect on that? Well, first of all, it's, it's always been very difficult for me to sit on the bench, to take a day off. That's always been one of the harder things for me to do, and I didn't do it very often. So the last couple of days have been very difficult uh, as far as sitting over there and not having a say in what goes on in the ball game, not being able to uh, participate in uh